What's up, guys? It's Lizzie here, and we are back with the next session of Tacoma and the biomedical module. So let's continue. And um, I realized in watching the first session, there was a whole lot of reverb, and that's because I had my PC audio on in Hotbox Capture when I shouldn't have. And I'm very sorry, but hopefully this will fix it. Or hopefully I fixed it. At least I didn't have any reverb. I would have really, then I would have had to redo the whole fucking thing, but, you know. I feel like it wasn't that terrible watching it. It was just like the echo of people talking, but still obnoxious, I know. What does this say? A random Odin fact for you while you work. Odin was the very first AI to be branched from the original source over 100 years ago. Years ago, he's an old guy. This is H, by the way. Hi. I uh, hope you can read this. Okay, your real handler is back from the bathroom now. Bye. <laughs> so do we want to go to botany first or medical? Do we want to talk to Andrew first? Or S Let's go with Sarah. Sarah, I, I like her interactions with Odin a lot. Okay, Sarah. We'll see you over in Mech. As soon as everything's wrapped up here. All right. Good speed. All right. Let's get this. Um, messaging with Odin. Isn't having more data available to the pilot desirable? Yeah, but the raw nav data is formatted for the Zenith AI's use, not blah, blah, blah. Bert's going to need to be able to use this stuff in real time while she's at the controls. So... Navigation code itself interpret the data and display its recommendation for optimal manual inputs to the pilot. Expose the raw data for cross-reference if needed. Yes, I understand. I will prepare revision 2.212 of the manual drone navigation and control software and... Blah, 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 blah. Mm, emergency in effect. Cryogenic facilities active. Two out of six cryopods occupy... Oh, so there's people in, the, in cryo right now. Who is whistling outside my fucking apartment? Don't shut up, I'm trying to record. Okay. Um, oxygen supply approximately 50 hours. Uh, with EV, no, it's okay, don't worry about it. I'm guessing, don't worry about it. But I just wanted to say that I think you're a really good station admin, and no matter how I acted, I want you to know... Uh, not gonna let you down. That's very sweet, Nat. I appreciate it. I need to da 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 da. See you on the other side. This user's offline. <laughs> okay. And who else is up? Um, Sarah's is up. So let's get hers. Uh, to everyone left awake on Tacoma Station, I've added a tracking... Oh, that's from Andrew. Um, I've added a tracking widget to all crew desktops. It displays a pretty accurate estimate of how much breathable air remains on the station. Following the algae bloom and EV and Clive going into cryo, that counter should give you a pretty good... Well, I'll keep an eye on it. And wait, so the algae bloom and EV and Clive going into cryo. I don't know how I feel about this. What did those two... Go I'm guessing they wouldn't... Ah, I don't have enough information. Hey ladies, your scans look good. You're cleared for cryo. If God forbid... Into the pods, attaching same standard instructions I sent on to Evie and Clive. Um, in the case of a medical emergency when surgical or other required medical facilities, temporary cryogenic suspension until you can be transported for treatment. Here's a quick look at... Blah. Medical staff will scan you and determine an appropriate regimen of fluids to be administered by intravenous... Blah. Dosage of diuretics and, lax Ugh. and laxatives and given time for your body to react to them. Uh, medical staff will guide you as you enter the cryogenic device. If the cryogenic facilities at your location are in microgravity, medical staff will have special training to add minute. I'm pretty sure that's not actually a word right there. But anyways. Failed. Failed. Okay. Once more. Oh, Odin. Did I do the right thing? In what regard? Does Nat deserve to know? 
what her odds are if she ends up going into cryo. I believe that you have made a decision with both Roberta and Natalie's best interests at heart. Above all, do no harm. If we do make it out of this thing, Nat's going to have to find out I didn't tell her everything at some point. I believe that is a bridge to be crossed at a later date. Andrew is here for his exam. Oh. Uh. Send him in. So you showed up for your exam? I did. So does that mean you've decided to... What's gonna happen to us, Sarah? What? Um... Well, Bert and Nat are going to fix up the drone with life support and, and then we're... No. I mean, what if things don't work out, and we're still stuck in cryo? Oh. Well, when you go into stabilizing sleep, it feels just like any other sleep, really. The body effectively goes into a controlled hypothermic coma. Do you dream? Sometimes. Sometimes very intense dreams. And then what? After a certain amount of time, your body slows down too much, Things start shutting down. Don't wake back up. It, uh... It doesn't hurt. No. <sighs> do you think Bert and Nat can get it done? I do. Then I'll just have to trust your professional opinion. And do my part. It's been good working with you, Doc. I'm ready for my exam. <laughs> All right, let's. Oh, that's that. Go away. I don't need that. Contractor Hismati, thank you for updating your crew AR bioscan records access code. Please enter a code reminder phrase for your future reference. Graduation. Is there something on here about. Contractors, Monty, we would like to remind you that while you're posting contract on the new transfer station, Tacoma is currently up for renewal. There would be many more posting options open to you if you were to accept personal responsibility for the incident of September 2nd, 2085 upon the Fountain of Paradise. As you know, the court case has been settled, so there would be no further negative impact on you, and your opportunities with inventors would be significantly improved. What? I'll take the renewal, thanks. Wow. Well, okay. So, this was, reminder phrase, graduation. So when did she graduate? How do we find that out? Can I fix this picture? Because that's bugging the shit out of me. Anyway. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Uh, 2080. All right, so remember that. 20, I'm going to write that shit down. Hang on a second. I had a pin here somewhere. 2080. Click. Zero eight zero. Let's see what else we can find in personal quarters. I want a personal AR yoga instructor. Huh! 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 Okay. Get my workout in. Um. What is this? JJ Pratt? Odin. Unfortunately, the information you have requested is defined as classified by Ventura, so I'm unable to transmit it to you. I wish I could. I'm sorry, Sarah. It's okay. You don't have to apologize. I know you have your rules you have to follow. I wonder if Nat could get at it. I cannot prevent you from approaching Natalie about this issue. I can't advise you that doing so would violate the terms of her security clearance. So what was she after? No, on another facility. Uh... Like, if she was malfunctioning, or if there had been anything wrong with her that people might not have known about. 
I could try looking in VET's tech error ticket backlog for any hits. Okay, Fountain of Paradise Medical AI about three years ago. Okay, so she was trying to find out. So something happened at this Fountain of Paradise. No, that didn't have anything to do with that. Um, I was thinking about Tacoma. Or not, not Tacoma. Um... That other one from the first session where those all those workers died. Where was that at? Um, okay. Agaday, um... Oh! This... This feed maintained in memory of JJ. So something happened to this JJ. In... At the Fountain of Paradise that she ended up... They want her to take the blame. And she won't do it. Okay. What else do we have in here? Um... Deep waters in the heavens, thunderclouds approaching from the west, but no rain yet. The superior person nourishes himself and remains of good cheer to condition himself for the moment of truth. Great success. If you sincerely keep to your course, you may cross to the far shore. Changing line one, hey, 48, the well, whatever that all means. Um... Grab Harold. Man, they just let you grab anything. Is there something I need to get into? Gum, chocolates, nail polish. Man, I want a freaking AR yoga instructor. That'd be legit. What's in here? Can I open? Oh, yes. Uh, the Book of Changes. Okay. So, that's all for that. I really want to clear my throat, but I'm really trying hard not to. What's in medical storage? Oh my god! Position X. Ah, here's. Oh, I need a key? I'm gonna guess that the 2080 gets me into somewhere that has a key that will get me into this door, but I don't know. Because you can't get into anything. Personal quarters, been there, exit. Okay, so. We already went through all the exam facilities, didn't did we? Oh, what's in here? Uh Ah, key. Got it. Damn up good. Whoops. Come back, key. Alright, what's in here? Oh, here we go. Uh, following... Oh, Ventura settles with family, a spaceport victim. This is from 2086. Following a... And we're in 20... What year are we in right now? I don't know. Following a lengthy independent investigation and court case, the Ventura's corporation has reached a settlement with the family of Jaden Jeremiah Pratt, who died during surgery for a fractured femur following an accident aboard Venturis's Fountain of Paradise spaceport on September 2nd, 2085. The value of the settlement was undisclosed. As part of the settlement's terms, Venturis admitted no wrongdoing in the death of Mr. Pratt. However, significant public relations damage was already done by the incident. While OSEP's 
independent investigation was inconclusive. The attending surgeon at the time of Mr. Pratt's death, Dr. Sarah Hasmati, testified during multiple hearings that fault lay not in human error, but in the faulty judgment of Venturis' medical AI, HECA. HECA? HECA? Following these claims and the lack of refutation by OSEP's investigation, investor confidence in the reliability of Venturis' AI offerings declined sharply and hasn't fully recovered since Dr. Hasmati was transferred off of the Fountain of Paradise spaceport shortly after the hearings began. Mr. Pratt was a popular travel and food writer bringing his death on the subsequent hearing surrounding it added attention from the public, both the Ventures Corporation and Mr. Pratt's family declined to comment for this story. Okay. Anything else in there? All right, nope. So let's, uh, Okay, Sarah. We'll see you over in Mech. As soon as everything's wrapped up here. All right, good speed. Once more into the breach. What? I don't know. I, I'm just thinking about how Evie and Clive are already in deep freeze. Did you read the message they sent? Yeah. Why are we going into the supply closet? I got to talk to them a little bit right before Sarah took them down to cryo, and Evie was being so encouraging. They're putting all their faith in us, but. But what? Right before they turned to go, just for a second, they looked so worried. Oh, baby. The clock is ticking, and I just keep I thinking, sure what if the last time they saw each other is the last time they'll ever see each other? Don't think about that. How can I? How can you not think about it? So, you know the concept of partitioning from early century computing? Yeah, I think so. So, you have a data drive. Maybe one partition was your operating system, and the other one was, like, general data storage. And maybe you'd partition part of the drive off to contain something that might be unstable, that you otherwise kind of, you know, wanted not to interfere with anything else. There are certain things that are going to help us get this done, but some things, they need to be partitioned. Thinking about them isn't going to help us. But you're thinking about us, at least, aren't you? Yeah. And when I do let myself start thinking about how there's a possibility this is the last of our time together, too. Matt? Then I start thinking we should really make the most of it. <laughs> Oh, I, I didn't do that right. I tried, but I couldn't do it. Ouch! Oh, fuck, I just smashed my toe on my ottoman. Uh, okay. Um, Alright, so let's start over. And then go follow Andrew. Let's do his personal quarters first. What is he doing? Okay, Odin. Ready? I'm gonna do it this time. Caution. Oh, they're playing a game. <laughs> um... I'm just not in the mood to read all the newsletters and things. Um, off station message with Nicholas Stag. Yeah, Figueroa. Yes, I opened it and I'm not sure I get it. You need to pass them all out to the rest of the crew so they're not blinded by the glare off your damn shiny scalp. Lol, Nicholas. Hi. Happy birthday, Dad. <laughs>
Okay. So it looks like the... the oh. I thought that would be more exciting. Anyway, um, it looks like the further back the data goes, the, the less integrity it has. Um, snack bites. Let's turn on the lamp. Oh, this is a nice little little corner here. I'm not... S uh, oh, this, there's the sunglasses. Alright, let's see what's out here. I tried. Alright, what do you say, folks? Yay or nay? Obviously, we're on board. I'm in. Me too. Okay. Alright. Well, we non-essential personnel need to figure out how to do everything we can to set this mission up for success. Then get the hell out of your way as quickly as possible. Time is oxygen, people. Great. Alright, let's get hers. Um, C subject. I'm all hands me. I'm in Bonnie already get here. Okay. S Sarah, standard practices don't use cryo for any longer than absolutely necessary. That's not what I asked. Right. Sorry. 72 hours without serious risk of brain damage. Past that, and you're really pushing it. How much oxygen? I mean, hardly any at all. Wait, where are you going with this? Natalie, um, uh-huh, but Bert says she could do her part in the time we have if she doesn't sleep. And I need to write up a serious layer of interpreter code for us to pilot it from the inside, but it's gonna be tight. And if you had more than 48 hours to work with, every little bit would help. Okay, okay, hold on, checking something. Okay, so she was asking them how long it would take to try and, I guess, fix the life support and communications or something and then asking her how long they could stay in cryo okay with Bert but what if we weren't sending it down to get supplies what if we were sending ourselves down in the delivery drone yes with some modifications the bigger issue would be its lack of life support um, salvage from around Tacoma we could rig up oxygen pressure climate control Send the drone down to Luna and get home from there. If we're not confident in VT making it up here before O2 runs out, we can't call for a pickup getting down to Luna is our only real hope. Okay, sit tight. Good idea. Thanks, Bert. I'll, um... I'll head downstairs and get started on it. Oh my god. Okay. So now we actually have to build this thing. Clive. You wanna talk? Sure. Are, are you okay? Evie! Hey, Evie, hey, um, I know you're all, like, gung-ho to help us out and everything, but I did the math. Uh, if we could get this done in, like, 48 hours, not 72... Could the rest of us wait longer to go in? Exactly. Listen, ladies, I get it. You're trying to do right by us, but every minute we wait to go in is a minute you don't have to get this thing flying. And knowing what we know about VT... We've got to give you every chance we can to succeed. So there's no way we can convince you? We made a plan. Now we just need to hold up our end of the bargain. Then I guess we should stop wasting time and get to work. This is gonna be good, Evie. You just wait. Pride of your life. In more ways than one. Oh, this is nice. I didn't think things would end like this. Did you? What do you mean, end? Come on, Clive. What? You really think they can turn that thing into a passenger vehicle in two days? We might as well hold our breath and just try dog paddling over there. <laughs> but Listen, it's, it's okay. We know it's not safe working up here. We just don't think about it a lot, but here we are. And we knew it all along. But VT could- VT's not fucking coming, Clive! VT's not fucking coming. Ooh. You think sending a crew up here at the drop of a hat just to check on things is worth it to them? Dollars and cents, Clive. You know what one of those fuckers said to me one time? If it doesn't make dollars, it doesn't make sense. Them sending a crew up in time, it just doesn't make sense. So you're just giving up then? 
No. We're doing what we said we'd do. Bert and Nat, they are our only shot and we have got to take it. But I can also be realistic that- Evie. I don't want to be realistic with you. Well, time to go make final preparations then. <laughs> but not too finally. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm picturing it. Mm. Together. Like this. The gravity, it won't be artificial. I mean, isn't it strange? We've... We've never felt the Earth's pull together. One day. One day. Oh, Evie. Do you think you could get everyone to medical? I want to make sure they've got the best shot at waking back up once they do go in. Uh, all right. How about this? Let's give folks a little time to regroup. But why don't Clive and I follow you over there right now and get ours done? No time like the present. Lead the way. Okay. okay. Evie, I... Hello? Guess I'll catch up with you all later then. All right, so let's go back and we'll follow Andrew this time. Let's follow Andrew this time. All right, what do you say, folks? I did the math. Uh, if we could get this done in like. Where'd Andrew go? You okay? Evie! Hey! Nope, I'm not. Okay. What? Passcode? Damn it. Nope, I'm not. Okay. Zero, two, eight, one. Okay, cool. Uh, I can't. I. This is all crazy. But you said you. I know. But I. What was I supposed to say? You all. You all pressured me. Andrew. <laughs> they really expect us to climb into some jury rigged thing and ride it through space just because VT might not come pick us up. I it's insane. And first, we all have to get in cryo just for the privilege. Well, th some of us do. Andrew, I. I don't know what to say. Burton and Nat need us, they need you. Well, I'm not doing it. I'm not getting in cryo. I'm not. I'm going to be the same one here. No, nobody even considered that VT might come pick us up in time if we just wait. Nobody even considered it. Listen, just don't talk to anybody else about this for now, okay? And and if I were to call the crew into medical, you'd show up, right? I guess it depends what it is. Okay. Just give me a little time. Okay, so there she goes. Hey, Odin. Yes, Andrew? What should I do? What do you mean? I don't know. I, I just want to go home. I understand. Do you? I believe that I do. Can you tell me... The average time it's taken VT to send an evac crew to investigate situations like this? The average time between a remote facility losing ground contact and an investigative crew arriving on site is 98.4 hours. Wow. God damn it. Please try not to be worried, Andrew. <laughs> That's easy for you to say. You don't have lungs. So, what do you think we should do? Standard operating procedure requires all crew to engage cryogenic hibernation until help arrives. Yeah, you know people die in cryo, right? I know. Sometimes. If, uh... <laughs> if we don't make it out of this... Can you deliver a message to my family? I will do everything in my power. 
Okay. I'll, uh... I'll send you something later, all right? Of course. All right, let's look at his... His disk champ. Failed. Oh, um, should we start at the bottom? Or, yeah, up here. Um, <clears throat> Andrew, I'm not talking about who's paying... Wait. Andrew, I'm not talking about who's paying the bills. I'm talking about Nicholas. See you every four months, and that's not even taking my feelings into account, which I'll just set aside for now. You might not think he's showing it, but Nicholas really wishes you were here. Listen, if you back out of your contract renewal, we'll figure out a way to make it work. You know my parents did well in the currency crash. My dad always says, uh, I just want you home. Relying on your parents' charity is your solution. I'm building equity up here. My loyalty will pay for Nicholas's school, and if I back out of this contract, we'll lose all that. And I am not. Don't appreciate this emotional sabotage when you know really getting hard not to feel unappreciated. Listen, I'm sorry, I just... Connection lost. So, I guess we should just carry on as normal. We don't have much time, we need to make a contingency plan. But VT's supposed to come pick us up, right? Within 24 hours? Listen, just... do whatever you can to increase our oxygen supply in the short term if worse came to worse. Natalie, there's really no way of getting a signal out. There must be something you haven't tried yet. No, Andrew, all comms are routed through a secured VT laser array and it's been destroyed and the redundancies were destroyed. Stop messaging me. Well, looks like this will work. Give us a few extra hours anyway. Thanks, Odin. Okay, Evie, I... Hello? Guess I'll catch up with you all later then. Okay, so let's go back and follow Sarah out now. Freaking out. I'm freaking out. Close your eyes. I did already. A light wind rustles the green tall grass. Your skirt pillows gently. Warm sun caresses your back. Yes. You begin walking forward. The grass is cool. Your feet parted. Hang on. Oh. Oh wow. Each step. Do you see what is in front of you? As I step through the grass, I naturally come upon a path. Yes. The dirt of the so the dirt of the path is soft on the soles of my feet. I don't know what's going to happen to us, Odin. Sarah. <laughs> I am striding forward confidently upon my appointed path. Wherever it takes me is where I am meant to be. I am striding confidently on my appointed path. Sarah? Yes, Odin? Are you going to be all right? I think so. Oh, Evie, uh, do you think you could get everyone to medical? I, I want to make sure they've got the best shot at waking back up. Alright, we already saw that part, so let's follow, um... I'll, um... I'll head downstairs and get started on... Oh my god. 
Okay. So now we actually have to build this thing. Right. Yeah, that was the whole point. Hold on, I need to ask Evie something. Are you okay? Evie! Hey, Evie, hey, um, I know you're all, like, gung-ho to help us out and everything, but... Here I saw this. Well, now we just need to hold... Alright. Right of your life! More ways than one. Okay, where do we start? Start? I got things started as soon as this all went down. I'll show you what I got lined up. To the workshops! Oh, okay, so that's all you get. Okay, so let's... Let's do some exploring. Oh, I'll pause it. Uh, tea garden. Oh, this is where they went. Brr, there a little bit. Just a mug. Well, that's pretty. Okay. We already saw everything that was to see down there, so let's get in here now. What is this? Oh, chicken, fish, beef and beef. Why is there so much beef? What are these? What is this? Looks like a shit. Oh, there's tomatoes. Okay. Phalaenopsis Aphrodite. Uh, dear contractor in good standing day. <laughs> yeah, wow, okay. This message confirms completion of your requested currency conversion. Loyalty has been removed from your account at a value of 154000 Wow! And applied to your Venturis Belt Employee Investment Plan pre-registration fee. You are now the proud owner of Orbital Bungalow 0182 in the Venturis Belt. When facilities become operational later in 2088, you will make money every time a passenger rents out your Orbital Bungalow. Congratulations on this wise investment and welcome to the Venturis family. Beautiful orchids. Hi everyone, my orchids have been growing gloriously in botany this winter and they're ready to be propagated. If anyone would like a small orchid plant to brighten up their bunk, let me know. They do take a bit of care, but I'm happy to include instructions and answer any questions. Please write back if you'd like one. Okay. Policy change request form. Um, I request an official corporate day of mourning to be instituted on September 15th of each year memorializing the Tibetan genocide of 2052. My family and thousands of others were indelibly sundered in this horrific ethnic cleansing event. My parents and I escaped Tibet as refugees. My grandmother, like so many others, was not so lucky. Her memory spurs me to make this request once more. Days of memorial like this one are crucial to ensuring that the memory of the people and the traditions lost in the terrible event something mm. oh two eight one. Oh, that's for his uh the door Doink. I, already, I already figured that out suckers all right let's go check on our do lolly yep we good 100 percent. let's go Should be getting a message. Yep, there it is. Subcontractor Farrier, proceed immediately to the engineering module. Once AI data is transferred from all modules, he must also secure and return the AI's physical processing medium. The latter requirement is of the highest priority. Alrighty. What was Oh, that was cry. Oh my gosh. I hope they're not like. What if they're all still in? Because it said that they were evacuated, but... So what are they trying to cover up is my question. That's what I want to know. What are they trying to cover up? Whoosh. 
There's cryo. Right? No, access denied. Oh, engineering, here we go. Well, this is as good a time as any to take another break before we jump into another session. I have a feeling I'm probably going to finish this in one fell swoop tonight. Because I'm getting kind of sucked into the, the story of how this all went down. So I'm going to take a little break and we will come back with the next one. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye!